And hello, my fellow nerds out there. It's Oklahoma Richie, and welcome back to Fran Bo. Uh, this, uh, we got locked into this room into this room the last episode, uh, but we got freed by a little uh, the little version of me. And now there is no door, and we have to try to find a way out. So, um, maybe something in this closet can help me. Uh, what's this? That's. Okay, so that is Fran, but who's the little girl here? So is that like her, wait, is that like her best friend? Uh, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. Wait, Alice? <clears throat> Actually, yeah, they do kind of look like an Alice. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. We have so much fun making stuff up together. Okay. Can we move this? What's this? Oh, school case. Oh Jesus. Why wait, why were there all eyes there? Okay, that's weird. Let's look out the window. Uh, maybe there's something out there that can help us. Oh! Oh, there's another Kamala down there. Ah, oh, a Kamala. Nasty creatures. Poor tree. He must be really sad with the Kamala eating from him. I know Kamalas don't like water. Okay, so we gotta find water to get rid of the Kamala. Maybe the tree... Maybe the tree can help us. Crayons, Lanium, Teddy, Ballerina. Yes, all in its place. Uh, what's this? Oh? What's this? Oh, uh... I'm gonna keep this little piano. To play the lovely melodies. Okay. Wait, can I actually move everything? What's this? Oh no, I ripped the paper off. Something back there? Uh, use the knife. Aha, it's a key! How's Fran so articulate with the knife, though? That's my question. <clears throat> Wait, examine. Is there something inside of this? Oh, there's a lock! Just have to find out. Wait, we have a cat shaped key. Uh, use it? Pull on just key with door? Wait, that's a door? What's happening? It's a door! Huh. Well, that happened. What's this thing? Oh, it's her on a picnic with a... On a picnic with a little Mr. Midnight. Alright, uh, let's go through the door then. <coughs> oh! Oh god, what is all of this? Uh, that eye is following me. There's a key here. Uh, where does this key go to? Uh, 102? No. Okay, use. Uh, 103? 104! 105! Yeah! Uh, let's go, let's go inside. Oh! Oh, that one blinked. You alive? Oh, dead skulls on the wall. I never th thought of this, but I kind of like it. It's just inside of humans. It's beautiful. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors I wish to unlock. Tell, you, tell your friends to be nice and- Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth? He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get the key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to the key. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. 
Oh, and the Mabuka's dead. Mabuka? Who's Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't. You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't seen, been here before. <clears throat> don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of, of the darkness. The dark, the darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I in the fifth reality? I thought Remo was the king here. Ah, uh, Remo, the terrible black, a son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should, you should go now. I've said enough. All right. I'll, I'll be back later, anyways. Your friend. Uh, there's something right here. What's this? Inside the little house. Yeah, that was the, yeah, that was the key that we just got, wasn't it? Is that Edward's hat? <coughs> Edward forgot his hat. Or well, maybe the hat forgot its head. Okay, let's go here. Wait, don't we have another key? We do. Uh, 102. 103. 104. Yeah! Oh, hi! What are you? Who are you? Intruder! Infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Okula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything. Nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible you own a cat? Are you royal? Queen? Princess? No, I don't own him because... But we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see your cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, it's fur very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him, it's my friend Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are very brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Akula. I'm friend, by the way. I'll see you around. <laughs> Get it? See? Because he's a big eye? What's this? A brush. A brush to brush hair. Okay, what does this do? Wait, didn't the instructions here say... Oh, we crossed up the things we have. A working bulb. Yeah, I think we can get that from this. Don't mind if I help myself to this. Okay, I'll, I'll turn your light back on now so you can feel friendly. Now, what does this do? <coughs> oh! Wait, can we hop into the painting like Mario Brothers? Oh, we can! Here we go! Oh! Hi! What are you? Uh, there's a bottle here. Can I take this? Yes, thank you. I'm gonna need to have a hangover. Insert button. Wait, didn't Fran say that there was a- uh, the dress back in the room had a button? Yeah, it's in the closet in here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, maybe we can cut it off? Yeah! We have a button now. Alright, let's head back. <coughs> back to the room. Go in here. I have a button now. Uh, use. Insert button. And then we turn the crank. 
Hey, hey. It's a carnival monkey. What are these? Are these pliers? Um. Oh, we needed a wire, right? <clears throat> Pretty sure we did. Yeah, black wire. <clears throat> okay, let's see. <clears throat> I, I really like his little eye spinning animation. It, it just looks cool, like, I see multiple universes. <laughs> Okay, um... Oh wait, didn't, didn't East Roberto say his friend had reinforced teeth? Maybe we can pry it open? Oh god, I'm, I'm sorry dude! Oh god! I'm so sorry! I'll take the key I suppose. Okay, why is this key open though? Uh, I'm gonna take a crack at it. 102? Yeah! <clears throat> Alright, what's in here? Oh, hi! Oh, your eyes follow me. Oh, there's a clock around his neck. A wake up clock. Perfect. Can I... Can I take the clock? Yeah! Okay, what does this switch do? Ooh! Oh, we have a bridge! There's a glove right here. Hey, I'll take that. Okay, let's go in here. Uh, what does this do? Oh, okay, we're going up. Oh, hello. Excuse me, I really need that key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose to talk, not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question, are you stuck to this tree? I'm firmly attached to it, why do you ask? I'm just curious, see you later. Uh, wait. Oh wait, we have a hairbrush, don't we? With spirit. Look, I found a magical hair comb, isn't it great? I, I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, just promise you won't burn me, okay? I only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Aww. It worked! What is happening to me? i never experienced anything like this before! But how? You're a Lucifern. All Luciferns I've met do this... Do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Oh, okay, bye then. <laughs> uh, how am I getting to reach the key? There must be the key for the door. One of three. I can smell it. Okay, but... We don't have anything to reach it with, so... Okay, uh, let's go ahead and head back. <coughs> Maybe there's something in our room that can help us. Okay, look around. Wait, isn't this where the keys were? Balloons? What am I going to use that for? Um, let's go into room 105. I think I think we could have gone left here, could we? Yeah, we could. Okay, why, why am I always clicking on the floor? I can just click the eye. Oh, now we're with... Now we're where you are now. I'm not done, Mother. I'll take another bath after this one, but I stink. Who told you that that you stink? The creeps that, that walk on my skin. They're getting sick. 
They vomit every time they eat my skin because I stink. I don't smell anything. What is this smell we're talking about? I stink like most unpleasant stench. I believe you, but I can't smell it. Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. Uh, can we take the soap? Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heart's beat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having troubles with hygiene? Uh, yes, terrible problems with hygiene. Like, I smell like my, my flesh was rotten. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I, I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. All right, then, take it. It's all yours. His smile is cute in a very morbid kind of way. Be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads, their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Okay. Can we... F Wait, the Kamala doesn't like water, right? We could probably... Water balloons, of course! Aha! Uh, might as well fill this thing, too. Alright. Alright, goodbye, then. Goodbye, dude. Okay, let's go ahead and... Head back. Cause we can hit the Kamala from my room, I think. Okay, to the window. Okay, use it. Throw it. Oh goodness, I missed. Alright, do it again. Almost. Bam! Got him! Yes, I did it! Goodbye, Kamala! Wow, well, I don't feel sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. A branch? There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. Alright, so we got our branch now. Wait. Maybe we can use this branch to reach the key. Okay, wait. Do we have everything yet? Oh, we do have everything! Okay, let's go ahead to the elevator. Up we go! Uh, where is it? Oh, it literally hit from me. Okay. Use. Fantastic, I can reach it now. And now I have the key. Back down we go. Alright. Also, I kind of noticed something on the cat. What, what is that? The back of the giant cat. It's not safe for something important. It's quite dark in there. Uh, hmm. Wait a second. Examine this. Shut down the lights. Uh, maybe we. You know, let's go unlock. Uh, let's go unlock room one hundred three first. This has to be the key for one hundred three, right? Yeah. Let's go in. Oh. The floor is beating like a heart. That must be that must be Mabuka. Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. You are not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka, mother Mabuka, you for you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwin. Cogwin is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. 
Ah, so you know him. I assume you've been to a Thursda. Horrid place, I may say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safer there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Oh, wait, wait, aren't these things the deadly worms? Or deadly worms? Um, okay, so we gotta... We gotta do something to wake up Mabuka. Wait, maybe we can make the Ecock. I know we have to do something with the back of that cat. Wait, can we use it in, can we use the case for the hatch? Oh! Do we just throw everything we have in there? Um, okay. Glove. Uh, bottle of water. Uh, black cord. Clock. Working bulb. Piano keys. And so. Oh. Oh! Ooh! Ah, the Ecock clock! This is amazing, the Ecock clock. It's finished! I feel like we just did something like Minecraft or something. We just crafted it. Okay, I'll give you your tail back. We don't need to be over there now. Oh, and now we can wake her up. Rise and shine, Mabuka! Bring! Ooh! <sighs> Beware of Mabuka! The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potions or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans. So yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The, the power has been unleashed. <clears throat> I hope you find beneath the ground the truth you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You are selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. Wait, five realms of essential existence. F-R-E-E. -E. It's Lily spells free. Lily just call it free. <laughs> the five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of a key? Who told you this? The great valikas of the Prime. Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There is something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remo killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those things, Franbo. I am the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if we won't kill my parents. I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, keeper of the key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Ooh! Oh, it's a ladder. 
All right. Down the ladder we go. What? <laughs> Are we in a hospital? Who are you? Do I know you from somewhere? You look some... You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle? Ah, uh, did you stab all your little friends with it? What knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back at the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ah, uh, you little beast. Take a number, would you, and wait for your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Ness, I, need a I don't need medical attention, I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait, I won't repeat myself. I fine. Guess that's what that's for. Yep. Number seven. Do we actually have to wait? What's this? Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. The bath boy said something about this. I think I think it's a hijacker. Oh. Okay, let's go left. <coughs> oh, who are all of you? Ugh. I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Ha! I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally helpless. Um, excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't be, I feel very sick. I can't, my R eye is blind. My R eye is blinded. R as in red, like right eye, or what? I have, I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor, so I must be a patient. Neither can I. I lost my ability to find myself in front of a mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please, please, let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. <laughs> how can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Uh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course, you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. It's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true. But it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. We understand each other very well with our own common sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who's the one that sees it all? You mean Mabuka? No. Mabuka knows everything. It is not the same as seeing everything. I know I want to wait because talking will... Now, I want to wait because talking will make things go faster. <laughs> Alright, thank you for nothing. Uh, can we talk to any of you? I'm assuming we can talk to you. <clears throat> My R eye is broken, but the big eye told me th that because she she sees all. Wait, the big eye is a girl. What about you, I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Ugh, waiting was fun to begin at the beginning, but now it's just boring. Wait. Okay, what about you? Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Oh, actually. Can we exchange tickets, maybe? Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what your il illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here by the time you get back. Okay, let's go ahead then. Wait, does her eyes follow me? Okay, no they don't. I thought her eyes followed me for a second. Alright. 
Uh, wait, one of them mentioned the big eye, so maybe, maybe, let's go talk to o Oakum. Maybe they maybe they know. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me more of the illness the creature who has the ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room. Uh, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow. But is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. <clears throat> that won't be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now, everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell deep asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort of my life. I just want to find him so he can go back to a thruster and be happy. Oh, It's actually kind of adorable in a very morbid kind of way. Mmm. Lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is now yours, yours of, is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now, time does not wait for anybody. Thank you, I'll be going now, bye. Oh wait, no, it's uh, 103. Okay. Okay, hey buddy. I got something that could help you. It's my tears. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? <laughs> oh, lovely. Let's see. I, it tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. I promise. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. There you go. Oh, ticket number two. <clears throat> and thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. <laughs> Salty, even. Oh, oh, okay. G goodbye, then. <laughs> oh, I'm screen number two. This must be a number display. Well, uh, I'm number two now. Oh, lady, I'm number two. I'm next. Hello, patient number two. We're doing all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. I lost kitty? Don't worry, that's the natural reaction of your sickness. You're, you're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Huh, lucky. How do I get an appointment, then? Aw, just call me. Here's my card with a telephone number. Why must I call you? Why can't you make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ah, uh, alright, I'll go make the call then. <clears throat> I think I saw a telephone in 105, I believe. Yeah! Okay. Zero, one, two, two, one. Two, one, seven, two, seven, six. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Mm, it's Frambo. Uh huh. I'm available now. No, no. Eh, uh, no. I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was, that was funny. Okay, back to Mabuka's heart we go. <clears throat> okay. Hello, piece number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Frambo is my name, and the appointment is now. 
Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go to the door to your right. Also, I'm um, sorry guys, I had to pause- Okay guys, I, sorry, I had to pause the recording for a second. It was not recording the game's audio for some reason. So, I- I'm sorry that you guys couldn't hear the music before. Alright, thank you. Do, 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 do. Uh, door? Oh, Jesus! I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. <laughs> Bye, then. Oh, also, I kind of want to go back up here because I want you guys to hear the music for Mabuka. It's very creepy. <laughs> Alright, let's go back down. Okay, so we gotta head th through door 106. So, let's go ahead. Oh, it's him. Hi, Remor. <laughs> you haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're Remor, aren't you? I haven't gotten to ch the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. I know you killed my parents. Where's my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dian? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You're, man you're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it, is it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you the night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile and easy to corrupt. Oh god. Oh god, what's going on? Oh Jesus! <laughs> Wait, 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 hold up, what? Is that me? No, it can't be, stop it. I didn't do it, I didn't, it wasn't me, stop it, please. Who was it, my darling, who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Wait, 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 so... So wait, did, did Fran actually do it herself? I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Well, there's only one door open. Let's go. Oh, where am I? Kitty! Mr. Midnight! Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Uh, talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny anymore. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a thirster, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, Kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Okay. 
Dr. Dian, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Dian, wake up. Are you alive, sir? Uh, what should I do to wake him up? Okay, maybe... Are we able to go back? Oh! I guess not. What's this? Wait. Center of Brain Research and Pineal Gland Phenomena. Christine Fountain, Clara, and Mia Bahamut. Oh, wait, that's the twins! Gladys, Gladys Hannah, I can tell this is probably her. Grace and Lucia Dagenhart. Is that the babies? Dr. Leon Costello. Wait, that, that's Leon? That's, that's probably Leon, right? Dr. Oswald Harrison. Sent to brain research. Grace and Lucia Dagenhart. That's my mommy and my aunt. Isn't that the old nurse? Uh, oh wait, do we have to, do we have to electrocute him? What does the lever do? Ouch, electric shock. I think I'll just leave it there. A syringe, it has red fluid inside. What can it be? The contents are the same color as my pills. Can it be? Oh, do we have to wake up Dr. Dean like this? <laughs> Maybe this will wake him up. Oh, Jesus. Ah, damn. What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dean. It's me, Fran. Ah, uh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bosa from Oswald Asylum. We were, we were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Uh. It's on Grace. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ah, but I did. I told you she was, a hard, she was hard to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Oh, Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I am Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran, the same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Of course. Raymore did a great job. The, his power of manipulation is extraordinary. What? I don't understand how you could be so calm. What I don't understand is how you could be so calm about, about it. It was you holding the knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remo all the time. But, but why does he hunt me? Remo is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded powerful manifest and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did, did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Oh, Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let's go. My kitty and I can find a place without to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Oh. Go with your heart, friend. Isn't that what you want? Dr. Dean, are you alright, sir? I'm assuming he's dead. He's dead still. Okay, let's go left. Fran, my dear, listen to me. 
You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you would be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No. No, 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 no! No! It's a midnight! No, no, Kitty! Come on, friend, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also k helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Stop it, friend. Help. Help. Please, help. Is she gonna choke her out? Oh, God. What, what is he for? Is that a gun? Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. He shot her. What? Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Dr. Dearn! Fran, are you alright? What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dearn. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I have been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Oh? Edward! <laughs> Did he just use the force? Oh, God. Oh, Fran, everything will be all right. Who, who, who are you? Can you see him? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. But, but, you're not human. Ectobro, Ectoprote, Pelontres, Monarchist. Gorska, Edward, I found him. Oh, oh my goodness, stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. It's a midnight. Little friend must be cured. Do you think you'll get yours the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran. And you, you'll be able to walk towards the light. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? What is that? Oh. <laughs> Look at his big ass eyes. <laughs> oh. Ah, what happened? It would? Palantras? Uh, my heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? All right. Dr. Dean, look, this is it, we're in Palantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? Oh. Oh. Oh, God! That's not good. He can't hear you. I think he is under the power of Mabuka. We really must leave now. Can he come with us, please? He, he has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us. Uh, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that this is all just a dream. He'll wake up and, th and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay. I guess as long as he is safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. 
Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Aw, thank you, Polontris. Aww. Now let's send Dr. Dian home. Oh, Marcel Dian Onum, Vecma Sodensla Ecto. Oh, Jesus. And he's gone. Goodbye, Dr. Dian. Let's go now, Fran. There is so much you must see. There is so much you, you must see and learn. Hehe, <laughs> sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know... That between guilt and fear... I choose happiness. Oh? <laughs> oh, riding him like Falcor in a... It's like Falcor in a never-ending story. And there goes Itward, too. Into the clouds we go! Wait, that's it? Wait, what happened afterwards, though? Oh, uh, but oh, uh, that this is awesome music too. I'm gonna vibe with this. Hey, hey! All right, but yeah, that I guess that's it for Frambo. This is an amazing story, an awesome game. I'm not gonna lie. And it's all original music. That's so awesome. E <laughs> Wait, egg, egg English proofreading re by oh, it's spelled incorrectly on purpose. It's English proofreading. I get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so cool. This is an awesome game. The Beta Squad. Oh, so is this is like beta testing for Frambo or something. Oh, I know. They are beta testers. Okay, that makes sense. <coughs> oh, but this is an awesome story. I really, I really liked the design and art style of Fran Bo. It would, it just, it just felt right and amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but I'm sorry that the, I'm sorry that the audio was mute uh, for most of the video. I didn't realize until we were almost to the end. <coughs> so I had to, so I had to go to OBS and make sure the audio was working. Special things, everyone that has been part of this development journey is backer, emotional supporter, fan artist, YouTuber, reviewer, and to you who believed in us. Indiegogo. Oh, this, this is cool. This is awesome. I really... I really... I, and I know that there is another game like Frambo. It's called Little, Misfor Little Misfortune uh, that was made after this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to play Little Misfortune, but... I. I think I might I might play it if I ever get it. I I promise I will. But yeah, this is an this is an amazing story. I'm just going to I'm just going to let these credits roll. I'll I'll just shut up for a moment. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing Fran Bo. Oh, it's just 2015. Oh, and <laughs> that's it for the credits. <laughs> okay, but. Huh, okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's gonna do it for Frambo. Uh, wow, I was not expecting the ending that we got. That that was amazing. But yeah, anyways, uh, if you guys, but anyways, if you guys like this, if you guys like this game, if, game, please let me know. Uh, please leave a like if you like this video. Comment about what you think. Share this video with your friends, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single notification. I'll see all of you in the next video. You say you wanna try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason.